Welcome to another video. If you ask me what is the most underrated piece of AI, then I'd say that it's the models and AI-related tools made by Google, especially their free tools. I mean, things like Gemini, CLI, and Jules are really good for the features and value that they provide, and I really think that Google doesn't get enough credit for the work they do, because they are the only ones who have a model that is genuinely good with a million token context window. Their flash model is the cheapest with a million token context window, and they are really good at multimodal stuff as well. And you even get all these things for free in Gemini, CLI, Jules, and Google AI Studio with very generous limits. And in AI Studio, there's literally no limits. I think that their stuff is actually really good. And today, I thought to show you guys how I use Gemini CLI, Gemini Code Assist, Jules, and even some nice Gemini features in my regular workflow. And for all this, I don't pay a cent. To start, I want to talk about the Gemini CLI. Gemini CLI gives you about 2,000 requests a day. These thousands are a bit scattered in how many pro and how many flash requests you get and there's no concrete info on this. But, from what I see, at peak hours, you start getting switched to flash after your 40 pro requests per 3 hours are exhausted. This is what I have seen, but as I said, there's no concrete info. But the flash model is not bad, and I actually have made the CLI my assistant kind of thing. So, I use Obsidian a lot to write scripts, notes, and everything. It's great, local, free. And as you'd know, all these notes are saved as markdown files in a folder, which is arguably the best part about Obsidian. And what you can do is that you can easily go to the folder or vault where you have it and just spin up Gemini CLI there and then chat about your notes with it. Gemini Flash is also great for this due to its 1 million token context window, and I actually like the flash writing style as well. Also, many people just assume that Google trains on your responses, which is not true. You can easily disable the training thing in the privacy slash command by just turning the training and stuff to false, which is also great. And you can then talk about sensitive stuff easily as well. Another thing that I use a lot is Google Jewels and the Gemini CLI GitHub Action. If you don't know, then Jewels is basically what OpenAI's Web Codex thing or Devon or stuff is supposed to be. It allows you to give it any task, and then you can relax. It will spin up a virtual machine, work on the task given, write code, and everything like that. Once it's done, you can merge it with a simple pull request and easily spin it up even simultaneously for a ton of tasks. You can also assign Jules easily to a task with the Assign to Jules tag. So, this is something that I like a lot. Another thing that I use a lot is Gemini CLI in GitHub Actions. You can actually also use it to assign a task to Gemini CLI that will run in a GitHub Actions VM and get the task done for you. But I actually don't use it for that. I use it for automating my CICD workflows by basically writing YAML scripts and just making it work to write documentation for new commits or release notes or stuff like that as well. I use it a lot in different types of stuff like automatically updating homebrew taps and whatnot. So, yeah, it's awesome. Another thing that I also use is the Gemini CLI for task management. Now, I majorly use Dart and Obsidian for task management. Dart has an MCP for task management, while Obsidian is just Markdown. I have a slash command that allows it to know where the task list is, and everything like that as well, without any issues. You can also make your own slash commands to automate almost anything with it without any issues. So, yeah. That is also kind of amazing for sure. Another thing that I have been using a lot these days is the Gemini Code Assist. In Gemini Code Assist, I have the custom instructions set up 
that allows me to use it as a designer that designs reusable UI components that can then be handed off to my other RuCode coding agent in order to do some cool stuff with it and just have reusable components rather than having the same component built differently in each page. So, yeah, that is kind of great as well. One more thing that I use is AI Studio. I use AI Studio a lot because it's free and literally fully free without any limits. You can use Gemini 2.5 Pro, VO2, Image Gen 4, and everything here, which is pretty awesome. You can upload videos and summarize them, upload PDFs and everything as well. Though, here your responses are always used for training. So, yeah, there's that. But still, it's great for using. Another thing that I have subconsciously been using a lot is their AI mode. I think that is way better than things like perplexity. It's extremely fast. Most of the stuff that it tells you is great. You can do conversation and everything, and it's obviously free. So, yeah, this is also great. Another thing is the Gemini Code Assist Code Review Bot in GitHub. Yes, it is basically what CodeRabbit is supposed to be, but this is free. It is really great at code review. It does some in-depth reviews with medium to vulnerable priorities and everything. I use it religiously for all my pull requests, and this is highly recommended for everyone. Like, I really recommend it. It's fast, better, and everything that you want it to be. I really like it a lot. I have been using a lot of these Gemini tools, and I'm almost using them to automate my life at this point. And that's why I thought to talk about this. All this is free, and I don't spend anything for these tools and I think that you can use them all you want as well. There's even more things like Notebook LM, which is great if you're a student and want to learn stuff, because it can allow you to take notes, generate audiobooks out of them, and just learn super easily. I really like that as well, but it's not something that I use a lot. Anyway, that's majorly about it. Go ahead and use it, and let me know what you guys think about this in the comments as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.